My name is Lim Jen Hui. And I'm Lim Chen Lee. We, we are from SMK Sultan Abu Bakr. Today, we're going to carry out five experiments for the PetroScience show. Now, these series of experiments are recorded without the intended storyline of presentation. The main focus of this video is to clarify the key points of the experiments. The real drama will only be incorporated in our show. The theme of our presentation is pressure. And our demonstration will be through the use of eggs. Yes, eggs. Are they as fragile as they seem? Let's take a look. Experiment 1. The indestructible egg. The indestructible egg? Yeah, indestructible. But eggs are easily broken. Is this special made? Let me tell you what to do. First, you put the egg on top of your palm. And then you squeeze it as hard as you can. Ew, no! I don't want to get my hands dirty when it breaks. Okay, fine. Then you can use the cling wrap we have over there. Okay. Wrap it around your egg. And then? Now, you put it on top of your palm. And now you squeeze it as hard as you can. You might want to try using two hands. Is that the best you can do? Fine, I give up. There you have it folks, the egg does not break. And to prove the point, I'm going to repeat the same experiment without cling wrap. See, the egg does not break. Why does that happen? Let me explain. The curved form of the egg distributes pressure equally all over the shell, rather than concentrating it at one point. By completely surrounding the egg with our hand, the pressure we apply by squeezing is applied evenly. However, eggs do not stand up well to uneven pressure, which is why they crack easily on the side of a bowl. Experiment 2. Excess pressure. Now this is a bowl of boiled eggs. How do you take the eggshell out? Oh, that's simple. There you go. No, not like that. This is so mainstream. Let me show you the Malaysian way. First, you make a hole on the top. Then, you make a bigger hole on the bottom. Then cover the small hole with your palm and blow. 
차라 But how did the egg come out? Ah, uh, let me illustrate. When air is blown towards the small hole with our palm preventing the air from escaping, a region of high pressure is formed. The high pressure causes the egg to be blown out towards the region of low pressure. Experiment 3. Yolk exchange. Yolk exchange? Yeah. All I need you to do is to separate the egg yolk from egg white. <laughs> That's easy. All you need is a spoon. A spoon, your best friend. No, no, no. I'm going to show you how to do it like a pro. All we'll need is a plastic bottle. Remove the cap, invert the bottle, and squeeze. Next, you place the opening of the bottle on top of the egg yolk. Now all we've got to do is release your grip. And there you go. The egg yolk is in the plastic bottle and is still intact. Now how do we remove the egg yolk out of the bottle? It's simple. Just drop it in. It flows out like water. Oh, this is way easier than my spoon. No kidding. Let me tell you how it's done. When the bottle is squeezed, an area of low pressure is formed inside the bottle. High pressure from the atmosphere causes air molecules to re-enter the bottle. In the process, the egg yolk is pushed into the bottle. Experiment 4. The Extraordinary Entrance Hey, can you fit this egg mm -hmm. into this glass bottle? I'll try. Can I press on the egg? No, you'll break the egg. But the egg is too big. Yes, but it is possible. Come, let me show you. First, you need a piece of paper. Fold it, then light it up. Will you help me? Oh, okay. After lighting it up, put it in the glass bottle. Then, put the egg on top. Observe. Whoa! Is that magic? No. Let me explain. When the strip of paper burns inside the bottle, Air expands and takes up more room. As the heated air expands, some of it escapes out of the bottle. When the burning strip of paper goes out, the air in the bottle cools and contracts, which takes up less room. This creates a lower pressure inside the bottle than outside. The greater pressure outside forces the egg to get sucked into the bottle. And for the grand finale, Experiment 5 The, the egg, egg Walk Now, have you heard of a magician walking on water? Well, I'm going to walk on eggs. Yeah, you heard me right. Eggs. Check it out!
How did he do it? It's simple. Pressure is equal to force per unit area. When surface area increases, pressure decreases, assuming force is constant. In simple terms, when more eggs are placed, the surface area increases. Thus, when a man stands on more eggs, pressure decreases and the eggs are less likely to break. That's all, Yokes. That concludes our five experiments. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon in the Petro Science Science Show 2014. Bye. Bye. After lighting it up, put it inside the bottle. Then place the egg on top. Observe.